guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge, and welcome to part two of my 2017 Christmas gift guide. Now on my last video, I shared what we purchased for my eldest daughter, but on today's video, I'm sharing what we purchased for my oldest son, Jackson. So if you're looking for any gift ideas, or if you're just curious to see what we purchased for him, stay tuned. Okay guys, now before we get started, I just have a few things that I wanna share with you. Number one is the budget. Now this year, my husband and I decided that we wanna stay under $80 per child for Christmas this year because we do have four kids and that adds up really quickly. Now I totally understand that everyone's Christmas budget is going to be different and not everyone's going to like these specific toys and that's totally fine. I'm just sharing what we decided to do this year. And finally, we did try to go with the four category plan this year, which means we tried to find something that they wanted, something that they needed, something that they could wear, and something that they could read when we were picking these gifts. Okay guys, now a little bit about Jackson. Like I said, he's our oldest son, and he's actually gonna be turning six two weeks before Christmas. Overall, I would describe Jackson as a very active kid, although not necessarily a sporty kid. He really likes to build things and run around and follow my husband everywhere. He's that kind of kid. And he's also a very good learner as well, as long as the learning is fun. He doesn't wanna sit and be bored. So definitely these gifts reflect that. So let's get started. So the first category is the want category. And I actually ended up picking something that Jackson wanted himself, but then something that I actually wanted him to have. So two things within this category, and I'm totally fine with that because overall we did stay under the budget. So first of all, I have this box. This is a Radio Flyer Cyclone. And I'll go ahead and put a picture here so you can see exactly what it looks like. This has two giant wheels and the kids spin around like a cyclone. But this is another fun ride-on toy that not only Jackson can play with, but also Mackenzie and his sister Lily as well. Now since Jackson is an active kid, I know he's gonna love this. And I found this on walmart.com. Now moving on to something that I wanted him to have, I picked this puzzle globe. Now this is a learning resources toy and I found it on Amazon, but this looks really fun and educational, something I know that he likes. Now this actually helps kids learn about continents, landmarks, and it actually helps with fine motor skills as well. I just love a good educational game and I hope that he loves it too. Now moving on to the something he needs category, I have two things that he needs when he's doing his schoolwork. And the first is another set of markers. Now these are very similar to the ones that I bought for Mackenzie, but it's always nice for the kids to have their own set. These don't need any water and they dry almost instantly. So he can use these for papers, posters, on wood even, and so much more. And as long as he doesn't use these on my furniture, I'll be happy. Now also in the something he needs category, I picked up a new set of headphones. Now I also bought these for Mackenzie as well, but for Jackson I picked the gray ones. I got these at Target and they were $10. And he uses his computer a lot for school as well, so a good set of wireless headphones is gonna be totally useful. And if you have any questions about these products, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below if you wanna check them out. Next up, I have the something to wear category. And I actually have two things to show you. First, I have something that I'm gonna to give to Jackson right away because we're gonna be taking the kids to Disneyland in a few days for the Christmas season. And so I picked him up this Star Wars shirt, which is actually the mini version of one that my husband has. It's almost identical. So I really think that that is cute and hopefully he'll love that. And then something that I'm not gonna to give to him until Christmas day, I have these really funny minion pajamas. Now these are like an like a coverall or like a onesie, but they doesn't doesn't have feet on there. But the hood actually has the little glasses and the hair as well. Now this says $14.97, but I actually got it on Black Friday, so it was a little bit cheaper. Now these are very warm and practical, but fun at the same time. So something for him to wear. Now the last category for Jackson is the reading category. And for him, I picked a book that's not just a book, it's also an activity as well. But this is an under the sea themed scratch and sketch book. And I found this on Amazon. I think it was only about $5, so it wasn't very expensive at all. But you guys have probably seen the little scratch art kits that the kids can do. But this is different because this one's actually under the sea themed. So on this page, you can find information about 
you know, a sea creature like a lobster. And then over here, the kids can actually scratch out the lobster after they read information about it. So it's fun, but educational, so mom likes that. So he can learn about starfish, he can learn about sharks, he can learn about sea turtles, and because it has an activity as well, I think for him, that'll be a lot better. Because if I just gave him a book, he might be a little bit bored, but a book with an activity, he's gonna love that. Oh yes, now if you're curious, you can find books like this in other subjects as well, such as math and science and art. So these books are great. I think I'm gonna buy more of these in the future. Okay guys, now overall, I think this is a really good balance of fun toys, educational toys, and things that he needed as well. I'm really happy that we didn't go over budget. And with his birthday two weeks before Christmas, I think that these were all really good choices. Now I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Now next time I'm gonna be sharing what we purchased for my youngest daughter, Lily, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.